Hey everyone and welcome back to Build It with Smith. I'm your host Smith and we're playing SimCity Build It. Uh, what a surprise, right? Uh, hey, first of all, I just wanted to get into uh, a comment. I wanted to read this comment here that I got from one of my favorite uh, viewers here, uh, Marcelo. We're on a first name basis. Uh, she's from Colombia, uh, Brazil, Colombia. I'm not sure, I think Colombia, but that's in Brazil. So we'll just say she's from Brazil. Uh, anyway, she had some uh, good thoughts to share. Right here, your Wild West square looks nice, but in the near future, maybe it wouldn't match your layout right where it is. I like how she put that. Because she is right, uh, you can move them further back from the biggest town or even try matching them with your casino buildings. Uh, I agree with her there. Uh, when I first set out to do this uh, actual little display of the Wild West items that if you're watching this and if you're watching it when the video first drops you're still getting these these are uh, available where's our oh, in the contest of mayors and uh, let's see in this season so uh, if you didn't see that video uh, it was sponsored by EA Play and EA uh, gave me access to all of these wonderful buildings as well as uh, these other supplemental buildings as well. Uh, at the time, I kind of set up a nice little kind of prairie type thing here, but now they've gone in and they've put these skyscrapers. So I think instead, I'm gonna actually turn this uh, area into somewhat of a like entertainment district and I have some ideas for it. So, sadly, um, I'm just going to store these for now. Uh, I'm sure that there will be another spot on the map that will pop up where I can uh, better utilize them and everything. But uh, as for right now, they're going to go bye-bye. And I'm going to kind of beef up this area with uh, luxury skyscrapers like you saw in my last video I was talking about the luxury skyscrapers that's what's going to be here and uh, also now some entertainment uh, items from the entertainment category now uh, I know that I told you guys I would be coming out with a SimCity uh, PC version uh, video series or at least I'm going to do one I don't know if it's going to be a series or not uh, we'll see how it goes but well, I did record that yesterday, and uh, such a tragedy for some reason, because I'm not used to recording on my PC, and I forgot to click to record the PC audio, so all you hear is just my voice. Uh, no game sound, and that sucks. So we're not going to put that out just yet. So maybe give me, well, I would say give me till Friday, but tomorrow's Friday. You're probably watching this is probably Friday depending on where you are geographically so obviously it's not out but maybe before Monday something like that okay so uh, now that we've cleared that we can get started with what we want to do with this entertainment district now I think having uh, this right in the center is a good idea however I could also have it like right in the center of that that way it just like beefs up everything I think that'll be better and then just kind of go off of that uh, population boost that we're getting from this expo center there's also some other items I haven't brought bought from the uh, entertainment that I can actually buy there's a baseball stadium uh, kind of a high dollar item oh 550 for the football stadium I like football but not that much. Got the soccer stadium. People get into soccer. Uh, what's affordable for me? Just a regular old stadium? Uh, I guess that's kind of neat. Yet they didn't have a basketball. No basketball? Well, I guess that's what the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe... Maybe this is more like a basketball stadium here. Anyway. Well. Uh, let's see what we're going to do here. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of this road. I swear I turned on, um, 
airplane mode. Now, uh, hopefully, uh, I'm not going to get blown up with notifications from various places. All right, so that's not really what I had in mind as far as the orientation goes. I probably orientated the other way. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I do like this little roundabout here. I guess there's not... Well, I could just move it down, actually. Let's see. Let's get rid of it now. See if there's going to be space for our expo center. Or if we need, need a little bit more space for that. Uh, okay. Uh, one other thing I wanted to do, and I wondered if I had enough room... Uh, where is that? This right here. I wanted to kind of make this into a uh, some some sort of a place for this. Let's see. If I were going to do this, how big of an area? If I was going to do something like have two spaces. Yeah, that would be just about right, right there. And then have that in the center. I wonder how that would look after a while. If I have that park in the center of all this. Uh, oops, didn't mean to do that. If I have that park in the center, and the expo center, and whatever else I decide to throw in there, I think we would be looking at a very big population boost for that area. Now, the only thing is, probably move that right there. That would make it in the center. So I'd have like one, two, so actually in order to do that, I need to have some sort of road going around it. So let's see, back this up here. We're just experimenting. I may not, I may not keep this at all. I mean, this is something I eventually want to do because I like this park is a very large park and what are we getting on the population side of this let's go to it population boost that we're getting from this is uh 50 and i spent six keys on it so what i'm thinking from a road standpoint is we definitely need something like that and then we need a road to get in on in there. Maybe this one right here. Okay, this would kind of work perfect. Mm -hmm. That would almost work perfectly. We don't need. Oops. We don't need this road here anymore because. We might just put some buildings around there. Obviously, when we extend these, then we'll be able to uh, do more with everything. But let's see, my expo center right now is not orientated the way I would like. Um, what can be done about that? Unless I put it like right here. Only thing about that is, it's not really increasing that much. I, I really want this to see right there. I mean, even right there, it gets more to the population, adds more to the population than if I just permanently set it right there. A lot of the stuff would be unaffected. So, um, now we just got to see how we're going to fit in, how, how we're going to make this work, I guess. Uh, so we're already gonna we established that we're gonna have uh, you guys can't see where I'm pointing so we're gonna have rows of house oh wait hmm okay you will not be able to place two oh, so it'll just be I want them going around you guys know what I mean so I guess maybe I gotta move this back some I want two, two stacks of houses going all the way around. Uh, right? 
Let me make sure if I do that, though. Uh, is there a point to do that? Let's see. I would want to make sure that all of the houses that I put down right there would be affected. So if I put a house way out here, would it be affected? No, it would not. It would not be affected by the park. So, so in that case, we can actually move the park closer or actually instead, we'll go ahead and get our orientation that we wanted for, uh, for this expo center turn it the way that we wanted it originally which is that way and uh, just go from there I guess we'll just have that road just die out right there I guess and uh, what else Let's see mm. trying to see where we can put another road here so Going back to this, I guess we want, do we want some buildings in between here? So this is obviously going to go something like that, perhaps, have buildings going around there like that, maybe, and we don't want too many intersections, so let's just go ahead and move these guys down, although that kind of throws it off, doesn't it? That does. All right, what are we gonna do with this Expo Center? Um, I do like it right there in the center. And that also fits in there as well. Doesn't it? So, um, hmm. how would this look? I mean, it doesn't exactly blend, I would say. Let's see how much population boost we're getting from the Expo Center. Because I want all of the buildings to feel the effect of the Expo Center. Right now, they're currently not. And that is because of this one road here is actually keeping it from affecting. So if I... Move the Expo Center here. Then let's see. Now it affects all of the buildings. And let's see how far we have out to go with our uh, health, with our uh, services coverage. Click the wrong thing there. Service coverage. All right. Here we go. So this is our service coverage. Uh, looks like we got this whole block here. Sorta. No, not really. Not really. Hmm. Well, we got those basic, uh, these basic services here. We may have to consider now looking at the larger scale. Uh, That's good enough buildings to affect a larger scale obviously so so that might be something we can do at, at, we, we may just keep the basic ones here and and go that way now the city is kind of getting a little discombobulated so let's go here I think uh, I've got some upgrades I can probably do. Make sure that we're all in the orange. We can do that upgrade. What else do we need? Some paint. Do that upgrade. Put more buildings, you know, there. And we got that coffee. Uh, we need a refrigerator now. Let's, let's go find a refrigerator. Let's see if we can find a refrigerator. Uh, probably won't have any luck. Doesn't look like it. Let's go to one place here. Well, 
Well, we almost had luck. Not quite, though. All right, well, how long does it take to make a refrigerator? And what do we need? We need two chemicals. And did that say three hours? Three hours. I don't think the video is going to be that long. I don't know if there's a point of speeding it up or not. Probably not at this point. Oh, look at this recipe. Nine donuts? Let's just do something else. We're not making nine donuts, guys, for this small little thing. All right, one of the buildings just finished. Let's take a look at it. Which one? Which one was it? Uh, it's hard to tell. I think it was that one. You know, I'm getting a lot of these buildings. They were my favorite buildings, but it's just like your favorite song on the radio. Once you hear it too much, it kind of isn't your favorite song anymore. That's kind of the idea with these buildings now. I mean, they're still wonderful, but uh, there's a lot of them. All right, well, we can probably during this video make two wood planks. Speed it up. And that will be enough. We got some more wood. That would be enough to do one of those upgrades. All right, so back to where we're at here at our entertainment district. All right, so I think that this is a good primary place a little bit closer for what we're trying to do. Now, another thing that we could do is we could just stack this area with other entertainment uh, buildings like that right there. As a matter of fact, I believe we're gonna have to snag some buildings away. Our entertainment HQ is actually right smack dab in the middle of our casino because that made sense at the time. And now it doesn't make so much sense anymore to have that there. So let's see, maybe we'll move some of these buildings around. Grab that hotel as well. We'll just replace some other buildings with the casino. Maybe another epic building or something over there. And as a matter of fact, uh, I do have a building that belongs over there, this wedding hall. We'll just put that right here. And then we'll just throw another building in there. Let's see how that looks. Probably kind of strange with it being so small. Let's put the wedding hall over here. Oh, no, no. Population goes down a whole lot when we do that. So what else do we have? Okay, we're not gonna put anything else there now. But for our entertainment district so far, we have these buildings that uh, don't really look the best together. There we go. And I would say that that layout right there is kind of a key. Okay. Now, uh, it may be better to maybe put this stuff over here. Let's see what it affects. Yeah, it's gonna get more of a population boost being right there. We'll have these buildings, they'll be upgraded a little bit more by that time. And what else? We can sandwich this, uh, uh, what is it, amphitheater right in between there, and then this hotel we can put right in here. For some reason, let's go ahead and let's get rid of this and just go ahead and, uh, oops, have that road right here go straight through the middle. Move this over a little bit. Hopefully this doesn't mess up anybody's coverage. And let's bring this road all the way through. All right. So now it's looking a little more, a little more like something, all right? And then we still got this stuff back here to deal with. But for right now, we'll just keep it like this. I think that's pretty good. And these some buildings over there. So, let's 
So there's that. That's what we're doing there, guys. Okay, so imagine this with a bunch of tall buildings, and that's how it's going to look. All right, and what we'll probably do is bring this. Uh, uh, we'll probably, let's see, now is this a good place to put this now? Can we bring him in also? Let's see. One, two, two of those. Uh, only problem is only problem is uh have to and maybe we could do something like uh say like that but that that's it's not what we want um so Let's see, maybe we can move it over here then. What would happen if we move it right there? And did something. That wouldn't be enough room now, would it? Hmm. We'll have to work on that part. Uh, that right there. Because. Yeah, we'll just have to just have to work on that. Just to keep everything uniform, it would be nice just to bring the road right through here. I think we're going to try to do that. Just try to keep the road right there. And I wonder if we can... Yeah, I wonder if we can do something like also have a long strip of buildings. Just like right here. Oops. Like right... Okay, come on. Not help. Right there, our strip of buildings going down down this path here. Uh, yeah, I think we'll do something like that, and then we'll have like the two right here, that one right there, and the only blank space we'll have is this one right here because there's not a road going to it. Um, but we'll come up with something to do for that area. Maybe maybe nothing. Maybe we won't do anything, but. I feel like we probably can. So, so there's that. I think this is the beginnings of our entertainment district. And it doesn't look too bad. It just came up with this right off the top of my head. Uh, do we have any more upgrades we can do? What's in here? That's right. Oh, that's moving quickly. So what upgrade do we have for that? Just this house. Let's go ahead and collect this five plastics. And maybe we can find a refrigerator to complete that other one. So let's just look here and make speculations about who may have a refrigerator. Which one of these cities? Not them. Let's see, how's about, we could probably use some more plastic now since we just, let's go here anyway. Uh. We yeah, have some alright stuff. We we'll use those, kinda. So, oh, let's see what their gift was. Maybe it's a refrigerator. Okay. That's not bad either. Alright. Let's see. How about one of these guys with the TV? I know y'all probably made some refrigerators too. How about Selly Oak? Selly Oak is gonna be our last spin per se today. No. No luck. All right, well, we'll just check back in in three hours and do that upgrade. Um, I guess I need more buildings now, yeah, I think so. But these are all gonna be buildings. Population is getting up there. There we go. I wonder if I should have done different kind of buildings for like around here, like perhaps these uh, French French buildings around there, that might look pretty good. Uh, right, and popcorn, popcorn. Oh no, we're not gonna do. See guys, I mean, 
Some of these recipes are just ridiculous. Now we could probably do this one. There's probably a couple couches in here actually at the headquarters. And there's one. I was looking looking for two. It's possible. Alright. And we'll give it one more spin here. I think I had the gnomes already. What else did it say I needed? The ice cream. Uh, or whatever they call it. It looks like ice cream. I'm assuming it's ice cream. Uh how about the light bulb place here? Oh, they do have a lot of stuff. Oh, and they have some popcorn. Lucky guy. Get those couches. Let's see what their prize is. All right, so now we're getting close. I think we're actually at our capacity. So we kind of have a problem if we're going to... Yeah, we're at our capacity now, so... Uh, let's see. What can we let go of? This plastic. All right, so this should be enough to do an upgrade, is it not? We're still waiting on another piece of wood. How long is this going to take? Oh, not that long. All right, guys, we are almost ready. Oh, next time, I think I might do a video about how to uh, effectively do your, um, your epic buildings. What I was thinking about doing is just... Uh, explaining my process that I go through not too often but I should more often which is to clear out the city storage as much as possible and then uh, have your uh, factory stacked and ready and then go ahead and make a lot of base items is what I call them these are basically the items that most things require planks, nails, all these pretty much. So I make a bunch of those out of my raw material there. Make a bunch of these, not that. Make that, 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 that. A lot of these things are common uh, tools. So anyway, let's see where we're at. And let's see why there's an exclamation mark here. Oh, apparently something falls out of it. Yeah, it's probably those. Um, you know, though, uh, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, I was thinking, I was wondering if there is a building that goes sideways like this, and there actually is. It's, uh, what are they saying? There's no coverage for police. So what about the precinct? No, oh, that goes that way. Okay. That's what I was kind of thinking is that I can orientate one of these places like that and then have another one and whatnot. And but like I said, I wanted some houses in there. So we'll have to see. Anyway, where's that upgrade at? Is it done? I got which which one did I upgrade? This one? I think so. Must have been. All right, guys, well, uh, you can see that the city is coming along, and stay tuned for that SimCity PC video. Oh, and before the end of the uh, video, let's open up a gold chest. Here we go. Hands rubbed together, and we got 24 cash, a uh, llama coin, and a turtle coin. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching, and tune in next time.